What's up, what's up? Look at that music. Hey, this gonna be a good one right here. Gonna be a good one. I'm gonna dedicate this one to my Aunt Lisa. Today's her birthday. She uh she passed. So I'll dedicate this one to Aunt Lisa. But it, it, it's gonna be a good one right here. Um, it's a big cousin, King Wu. King Cuddles. <laughs> Man. I had to put the shades on for this one. <laughs> for this one right here. And I got my C cup. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> this one right here. I couldn't even ask her what's the uh what, what's the <laughs> what is the thing, but what is the topic today? Side piece. Side, Side piece. piece. And that's the song that was playing right now, Side Piece by King Wu. So get it. You stream it. All platforms. Whew, uh, have you ever been a side piece? Hmm. You asking me? I'm asking you. Oh, well, let me take it back. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen. She got screwed in that. Never. Listen. Mm. If I was one, I wouldn't. I knew it, so it's no big deal. Any hoops. The other day, my husband calls and he says, what are we going to talk about on Saturday? And I'm thinking we're talking about something completely different. And he says, I know what we're going to talk about. Side piece. And I'm in the bed half asleep. And I'm like, I don't know nothing about that. And then he says, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, boy. And I said, oh, I didn't have a side piece. The I was team. committing adultery. Yo. <laughs> Look, it don't even matter. Listen, listen, I'm telling the story. A side piece. It, it, it matters because the world will call it a side piece. And when I looked it up in the dictionary, a side piece is a married man who has a chick on the side that he's having sex with, right? The ordinary so, and the dictionary is two different things. But biblically speaking... um. The Bible and the woo woo is two different things. But, that, but I go by the Bible. Not what the, is ordinary. was you ever a side piece? I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I can just tell you what I did. Mm, and okay. so I was a woman who committed adultery because I was still married. It doesn't matter why I was doing it because it wasn't a justification. I should have ended the waited till the marriage was over, and then went outside to play. But mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I didn't do that. Um, when he made the phone call, like I'm leaving and I got tired of hearing it and I got tired of crying and begging people to stay. I'm like, it is what it is. So I did what I did. And, um, I most definitely, I'm glad I repented from that, asked for forgiveness for that. And then I had to forgive myself for that. And, um. Do you regret it? Yeah, I do. You regret being a uh, side piece? I regret having you side have, pieces. Yeah, you had a side piece. If that's what you want to call it. I, I regret being a woman of you had a, committed you had a piece on the side. Alright. So you, you, you was never the side piece. You never dated someone who was in a relationship or had a girlfriend or a wife or anything. Or mm -hmm. a husband, because you know these dudes. Well, let me say this. If if I if I you right? <laughs> let's <laughs> we're gonna be honest. All right. You but if I wasn't anything I, else, I, I wasn't that. aware that... How you... What? Who? How you date me as a side piece? How, how you was Because you was piece? married. I was... Both of us were separated. Yeah. But, so, but the same thing, bottom line was you're still married. So if somebody was with somebody else, full-fledged, in a committed relationship, not that I know of, no. But I was at court. I was in court with mine. I don't know. But anyway, so, we're not going to... You I, can't I, justify I'm not, you're still I'm not married. Gonna, you went going home to see your wife at night. No. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying. Exactly. So, I, and I guess I wouldn't come home to my husband either. So, but bottom line, was the fact of the matter is, I was still a married woman and you were still a married man. No. Because. It's you, no justice. You, when you go home to somebody? No. All right. But I ain't talking about me and you. I'm talking about you had, you had little pieces before in your life. You had little pieces. So you're saying out of your 96 years, you, ha you haven't been nobody's side piece or you never had a piece on the side? 
I just said I was committing adultery. What are you talking about? Whatever you want to do. you're 96 years. Yes. You, huh? So you, you was married all your life? I was in relation. I, I was in relationship. relationship. Like you ain't committing adultery if you was in just relationship. Boyfriend. I was girlfriend. fornicating with other people. And was I fornicating? You fornicating with your boyfriend too then. Exactly. But I'm saying, <laughs> no exactly. I'm saying, have you ever been a side piece? Probably. Or have you ever had a side piece? With my boyfriends? Yes. Or was you messing with somebody who had a girlfriend? Yeah. Come on, man. I'm trying that, to think. Look, it ain't even that hard. Because I've been here for 96 years. 96 a long years. Time. Hey. Probably for one, and I won't mention any names. So, yeah, one. For one. One. No, we ain't got to mention no names. Yeah, one. But you said you only was. A, yeah, just one. You was a side piece or you I had a side piece? I was a side piece. piece. Hmm. He wasn't married. No, wait. We being truthful. Yeah. I didn't know he was married. Mm. I did not know. And the second one, um, but when I found out, I was done. And then the second one. Yep, there was a girl, but you know how that is. So I was just, we just both getting issues off and going about our business. Did you take him away from him? No, no, not at all. Did I don't you? break up homes. How you mean I break up homes? I ain't break up, I'm not taking him, I'm not taking him away from his girl. I didn't want him. You did want him. You, you wanted to end it out, right? You was going <laughs> just to, for that. You was going, she was going to see the dude for a dog. So, That's enough about me. Nah, it ain't, about it, ain't enough, it ain't enough about you. We still on the team <laughs> with her. No, we not. What's up? No, nah, don't, 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 uh, end it. What Come are we on. talking about? Finish. That was it. Finish. <laughs> don't stop it. I don't know what you're talking about. The tea was the fact that I was not perfect. So. And I was an adulteress. <laughs> and I've been in side piece for maybe two people in 46 years of life. October Why do you keep saying 46, though? Yes. Yeah, so, um, that's all I know. That's the tea for me. That's the tea for me. There ain't enough tea. Oh, that she, was hot. That ain't even, no, it ain't hot. It was hot she because say, when he. She say two. Yeah, who was, who, what are you talking about? She say two. How many times was you a side piece? <laughs> How many spare side pieces did you have? Man. Exactly. In my, in my years I had, I had a few side pieces, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to even lie. You know what I'm saying? That's well, we know. I think that's why I have kids the same age. I got a few kids like the same age. Put the tea on her. <laughs> so yes, I had side pieces. <laughs> and I was a side piece too. I probably was a uh I was a side piece in my relationship though. How can you be a side piece and you with somebody? We go to mom. <laughs> 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 but that's it though. Hey, I, but I, I'm being real though and a lot of people do be side pieces in their marriage this or, not or, as true or, or in their relationship this is true because they could be out here banging some, something else and then that other person fall in love with that person and then be mad at them when they go mess with their life spouse because they feel like they number one now. I'm sorry. Run that back. You said this. Go ahead. What, what's going on? Okay, just to clarify. Mm -hmm. me, you and a, me and you are married. Yes, ma'am. I go have relations with somebody else. Yep. And the person that I had relations with and fell in love with me. Yep. And they got an attitude with you. Yep. They, got, they have an attitude. Like, just say she was sleeping with somebody. Mm -hmm. And that person fell in love with her. Mm -hmm. So, he'd be like... Because, you know, at that time, if you got a side piece, you're telling that side piece stuff with your, your husband That's or what something ain't doing. Mm -hmm. So, if he, he going to try to do, probably try to do what your husband not doing. So, you telling them all the information. So, he like, oh, he ain't doing this. Why you with him? Boom, boom, boom. So, he get mad at you. At because, you? No, at you. At For me. one, because you going back to sleeping. He's like, is you sleeping with him? <laughs> and that's my husband. But... You, you don't want him. You, he, you say he do this. You say he do this. Mm -hmm. Then you got an issue because then when you see your, your guy, he might have an issue with him. Your guy might not even know who the dude is. Of course he doesn't. And the dude walk up on him and, and, and start some beef. And dude be like, dang, I don't even know this dude. Where, where did the dude come from? It's because he's banging your wife or your girlfriend. And your girlfriend or wife telling him all y'all problems. 
That's what they messed up. There. And the side piece is in love with her. Mm -hmm. She got that wet, I guess. She oh, got that wet. Did not have a conversation so without that. A side piece. What you just doing? <laughs> Hold a hand with a side piece? You don't have to go ahead. Never. You doing the adult stuff with exactly. the side piece, right? Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why the side piece won't do exclusive. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I had something like that before. I had a couple of them that they wanted exclusive ability with you with the Wooster, even though I had a girlfriend or something. You know well, let I mean? me ask you this do you regret having side pieces? No, I, I can't regret them because I got kids by a couple of so I, but I, I wasn't married, so I know that I, I can't regret it because but people have feelings, and you, I understand. You don't, you, I know you, okay, you don't regret it, but I don't regret because I had kids out of it. Oh, okay, you know I'm I don't regret my kids. Okay. But uh, if I could like put different people in some people's bodies, uh, I probably would have did that. If, if, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm saying like a couple, you know, a couple people you have babies by, uh, you be regretting them. You don't <laughs> no, regret the baby. You don't regret the kid. Mm, but like sometimes that. that person will drive you crazy. Uh, make your life hell. So you be like, man, it, it was good, but that what well, they say that the uh, that two minutes or whatever give you a lifetime of hell, a lifetime of pain, or something. Yeah, but my kid has grown, uh, like ninety some percent of them. So okay. yeah, Cam would be ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess you're a mathematician right now. You know it's just saying? how you did that. I was, yeah, it, I dawned on me later. Yeah, okay. Okay. She just, she's kind of slow. But, yes, I was a I'm side a piece baby. and I had side pieces. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, let's just move forward. We didn't told our tea, right? So, would you tell people that are, like, in that type of situation now? Do you think, yeah, go ahead and ha be the side pieces, um, do your thing, or would you be like, just in? My mother used to always tell me to close the door before you open another one. So, what would you, what do you say? I would say, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't even... It's nothing you can say about that because... Uh, so, if your son was married and he's hypothetically, your son is married or your daughter, whatever, and we know that they married and she go home to him, he go home to her and they bring somebody over here, that's cool with you? I mean, I, I can't... I, hey, I probably you're say, not, man, what's up with this, dog? Are you going to say something to him about it? I'll probably say something to him. Oh, okay. But, I mean, if you a grown person, you a grown person. Mm -hmm. I can't really... I'm wasting my... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but... You gonna voice your opinion because you don't really know some people. You don't know what their situation is, what they're going through. I'm so, married to you, Christine. Is not letting a man in her house at all. Is going down. All right, I'm just saying. Certain people. You in here breaking bread with with so and so, and you know you are gonna see M and M some more. Like that makes no sense. Yeah, but I'm just saying some people. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of it. I mean, you don't want to be a part of it because especially if you got a relationship with, with their spouse or their boyfriend or girlfriend. Exactly. And stuff, if you got a relationship with them. Mine, no, I'm calling. I told them, I'm calling. Oh, Caleb over here, where you at? I'm calling. Chris over here, they wouldn't do that. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Cam over here, where you at, girl? I'm selling. Yeah. Yeah, because you didn't brought it to my house. That's what you wanted me to do. You wanted me to help you. Yeah, she telling them, but <laughs> I, 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 I look at it as... And I, I would look at your something. family different, like your mom and Teresa. If you married to me, they know you stay with me. We not girlfriend and boyfriend, and and they and I know that they know. Like if you took a woman over with them, y'all went out on the y'all monthly dinners, and another chick was there. You like, oh, this is my friend, so and so, and they thought that was cool. Cause I think you would have a problem with my family if they thought that was cool. I don't no. know. I, mm -hmm. I feel like that's like if you do that, then. I think that's like disrespectful <laughs> anyway. It is. So when they come to my house, let's let's I play. Because you put other people in it. Yeah. And you know, that's when people have to pick sides. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do your thing, you, you, you're going to do it. You shouldn't yeah. have nobody in it because they're picking sides. And then when law busts and that person been knowing all this time, it's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. 
with that person and the other person. Like, mm-hmm. you knew this. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, a lot of people just, you know, go be with they self. They, they just like, man, I'm out of it. You know, don't, don't put me in this. Uh, you know, but, like, women, they're good. Because they will have the preacher. They will have the dog. They will have their mama, their daddy, their kids, everybody alone and be helping her cheat. <laughs> <laughs> and, I don't and know everybody, how that is, but that's not Everybody mine. will, will, and then will come back and be like, hey, when you ever find out, well, what did you do to her to make her cheat on you? Like, what do you mean what I do to her? Is this a personal experience? Nah, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying women. Not all. Women are good. Not not all. We we'll do that. that. That's too far. Women good when it comes to the to the cheating and the side pieces and and the uh, sugar daddies and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? A I girl, think men are equal value. A girl could have a sugar daddy and be like, "That's her uncle." Well, then, he but he be banging it out there in, uh, in Jamaica. You be like, oh, what's up, unk? He come here call you unk. I mean, call you little nephew. And you know what I'm saying? You go to the bathroom. He's smacking up with the weak key on in the face. Are oh. you in the bathroom? Like, come on, go ahead and, and, and make a move right quick before you come back downstairs. That's women are. Women are the best. Don't say not all. I'm just saying women are top. You know, guys are stupid when it comes to that type of stuff. Guys are like, man, because right. maybe you, not all of them. Because you you tell your, your partner, and your partner want to smash your girl, so you, your partner tells your girl, or tell somebody so tell your girl can know, or give girl hints, or you telling your your girl like, uh, I'm gone over your partner house, and your partner call and say, oh he ain't over here, because they trying to smash your girl. So it's a lot. Oh, because the dude told the yeah. girlfriend. Uh huh. It's a lot of people out here you can't trust, though. That's why I say, if you got a side piece or anything, it's just you and that side piece. If she out here telling somebody about it, get rid of them. Because if you value some, your relationship, get rid How of them. How do you them. value her? I mean, you can value your uh, relationship. And you want to lay with somebody else? Hey. Yeah, that's how sometimes it happens. I'm just, I'm just, cause like, like, if, I lay with, if I go lay with somebody else, I'm done. But I guess we're you, different creatures because no, I'm emotionally not. attached. Yes, I am. No, you won't. Yes, I, yes, I will. And y'all just visual. So you at home because your heart's here with me and Cameron. And then you go lay with Lala because her body is va va boom. What? I'm just making somebody up. And, um,. Actually, I was thinking about Lala Anthony because she's actually gorgeous. But um, <laughs> you go lay with Lala, and then you come home to me. Yeah. I guess I have no idea because it's only two minutes, and so we already gave you two minutes away. That's a wrap. Yeah. Two minutes up, and shoot. And then when, when you old, it, it takes about a day or two to get back, right? Lord Jesus, so help us. Your body got to warm up like an old. Uh, a old call, so he never lies. If, if you if you giving that two minutes outside of your home, <laughs> your wife gonna know because I it's gonna know. be two or three days before you even can get up and, and move in. And unless you like a young young dude, like when I back in the day with me, like when the wind when I walked outside, it was, it was ready. Now. I got to boil the water. Let it get hot. Oh Lord, Jesus! You know because I'm, I'm old and and I'm uh I got a lot of mouths. Don't shake your head. <laughs> <laughs> she got mouths, so she she talking all that crap. No, I don't think we have the same amount of counts. Probably don't. But no, you, okay. Yeah, you, you, I just have longevity. You, you, you want you two, you two over. What that mean? Two over me. We ain't got the same count. <laughs> uh, you got two more than me. That's why. A hundred and a hundred and two. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So Mm-mm. she like Will Chamberlain. That's if you know who Will Chamberlain is, 
The devil is a lot. His body count was immaculate. Whatever. Okay. All right. So. Say that was jokes. Huh? Say that was jokes. That was a joke. Okay. She, she said that was a joke. <laughs> she wanted me to say that was a joke. Whatever. Okay. That's the punchline. <laughs> so we going <laughs> to. So you know what? Today we're going to introduce this new little thing we're going to do. Right? We're going to do something called... Oh, Cuddles Corner. Listen, a shout out to my friend Susan Vance who reached out to me. She's like, I think you should have Cuddles Corner. Hold on. She already tried to branch out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she already trying to be uh, the dude from, what's his name? Nobody's Come to See You, Otis? Oh. That's what she's trying to be. <laughs> she's trying to already separate. This only episode six. And she already, we walked through the uh, store today. She want me to be her bodyguard. Don't want nobody to touch her and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's not true. Dude, you not. You want to be my bodyguard. You mm-hmm. want to hold the door open for me. You didn't want me to hit the racks and all of that stuff. And she told that. me to keep people away from her. Uh, you asked me that and I said, that's fine. You see, she already, you know what I'm saying? That's how she keep up with her little side pieces. She be saying all this stuff, man. Oh my goodness. You know? Nevertheless. All Thank right. you, Susan, for Cuddles, Cuddles Corner. Corner. And so today, I just want to take a brief second. Um, last week, my, we did marriage. And um, my sister called me. And she said, I was following you because I agreed that, um, what you say, um, how we're supposed to become one. But then she said, you lost me when you told me, like I'm talking to her directly, I think. When you, t- when you said, is what she said, when you said, um... You can't complete Rico, so how do we become one? And so, um, I called my... Who is that nigga? Who's Rico? My husband. Anywho, (laughs) King Wu. She said when he told King Wu um, that you couldn't complete him. And so, I called my bonus mama and I I said it and she said that I was right. So, one, um, I believe that only God can complete me. Only God can complete him. Because the thing is, like I said, and I think in marriage, is that um, if he was to leave me or to pass away, now I'm just half. Ah, ah, ah. But the thing about marriage is the way we become one is that we allow God to bring us to grow that way, right? So we have the same values and the same morals, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you become one. You know that three strand, we have to allow God in the midst of our marriage. That's how we become one because if not... He can stay over there with his opinions, and I can stay over here with us, with my opinions. And then, you know, we can still this way, but we not this way. You know what I mean? Mine is truth, and there's a difference between facts and truth. But anywho, um, that's Cuddles Corner that I just want to elaborate that we can't complete each other. Well, let me say this. God can only complete Carmelita. I could not allow man to complete me, one, because they're limited. Right, and then two, they can leave, and God is in the midst of this marriage, and that's why we are going on five years. Praise the Lord. And also, what else did I want to say? Oh, and a rebuttal, because my husband brought to my attention that last week I said something like, I didn't wish the best for our exes, but I do. They're beautiful spirits, and I wish the best for our exes, that they be successful, and they just have beautiful lives, and catching flights, and just having a good time in life. I wish the best for everyone. <laughs> I, 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 I really and do. that's the end of not King Wu, but Carmelita's Cuddles. Who in the hell is that name? <laughs> it's Cuddles, man. Look, Cuddles Corner. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. know who she's talking about. I don't about. know why I keep she, saying her names. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I, don't know I don't. Okay. Some Spanish person that she keep on no, no, fantasizing no. about. Both of them Spanish. I don't, <laughs> I don't know who she talking about. But um, it's still my pink. I still got my pink on mm-hmm. for breast cancer mm-hmm. and any cancer. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, wear your pink all month. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate um those who still here, mm-hmm. who still fighting. You know what I'm saying? And uh, keep remembering the ones that you lost due to cancer or uh, breast cancer or any type of cancer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully one day 
um, we can fix this or get do something about this stuff because uh, it's killing a lot of loved ones, man. And yes, it's killing a lot of loved ones. So uh, just keep on, you know, wearing your pink. And if you can donate to any uh, breast cancer foundations, like donate or whatever. Because who knows, maybe one day you might need that help. <clears throat> Remember that. Preferably not. Yeah, preferably not. But, you know, who knows? You know, just don't, don't just look over it like, oh, it's not going to happen to me. Because you never know. The world is crazy like that. And also, uh, I want to say, uh, bring peace to the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? The, the fighting that's going on, we need to bring peace with that. Uh, either side. I mean, I'm not on either side, but, you know, a war is, is bad for everybody. So, just bring peace to the Middle East. And um, hopefully, a resolution has come with that. Also, still on strike. <laughs> still on strike. And we need a resolution soon. Our union brothers and sisters, 2250. UAW, we need a resolution soon. If not, I'll be going straight up for until we get one. You got to boil the water. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. I boil the water then. I, I probably can't go. I only probably go one day a week. But I'm going to make that money. Can I just say something real quick before we wrap up? Say it. Anyhow, listen. If you have ever... You know how people just fade out black. Thank you. If you have ever been in the situation that we've talked about here previously, not really... I'm not judging anybody, but I just want to say this. Um, to my spirit, Jesus relationship people, if you are currently committing adultery, I want to say... Stop it. Close the, close the door and um, move on. Fade to black. Move on. Close that door if you want out or try to fix it. Go to counseling, whatever. Focus on your marriage. Or if you if not, then go ahead and do what you're going to do because you're hurting somebody on the other side. I promise you that. And um, Or if you've done it, it may be dealing with guilt or whatever. Um, most definitely, if you haven't already, just ask God to forgive you. Know that he has forgiven you and then forgive yourself. And, um, and if you hurt anybody in the process, just go to them and ask them to forgive you. And if they don't, you did your part. And if they do, then that's great. So anyway, um, I need a good sign off. But that was it for me. I, uh, if you're looking for a hairdo, you should look up self-esteem beauty. Yes. They... They'll whip you up real good. Yes, she will. Angie is the owner of Self Esteem Beauty Hair Salon. Mm -hmm. um, also, she does uh, t shirts. Yes. So, if you need any. She also has a workout class as well. Oh, yes. And she's a fitness guru. Mm -hmm. So, if you need to whip a couple pounds off, you can holler at her. For sure. And she would help you with And she's adorable pie. and she's sweet. And every time I see her, we cry together. She's a beautiful spirit. Oh she's gosh. just like her. <laughs> you know, they cry with the wind blows. Oh, my gosh. But you know. Love you, who? Love you, Angie. Love you, too. <laughs> Angie. Self-esteem, her and beauty salon. And the workout. And the uh, t-shirt lady. All the t-shirt lady, too. So... This has been a fun one. Still, she didn't answer the whole question about side piece. I did. But I'm going to let her slide for this one. <laughs> That's because sliding, she was I underwater. And no, she, was, she was wet and that thing could look. What, please? Like what <laughs> but anywho. Anywho. If you uh, like what we said. What the heck is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you like our content, just go like. Comment, subscribe, share. And next week we will have another winner for um, the 
quick trip gift card. So um, continue liking, sharing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And uh, hopefully you could be the next one and get you some free gas on. We're going to talk about it. Podcast. Out of Cuddles Pocket. Okay, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to sign off. Get on somewhere. We're about to sign off. Uh, this is we're gonna talk about a podcast located in St. Louis, Missouri. You know what I'm saying? In the heart of Missouri, with your boy, cousin King Wu, mm-hmm. and my co-host Cuddles. And we're gonna see you at the end of the road. Hey, boys, to me. God loves you.